Sometimes off of the shelf technologies won't work. You have to think out of the box. So he's going to bond the graphene oxide chip with the polymer. It's really cool. Huh? <laughs> Our whole lab focuses on detecting cancer cells. How the diseases has been detected is still in the classical way. They take a tumor tissue, sit under pathologist, sit under a microscope and look at the tissue. That is the way it was being done 100 years ago. 90% <laughs> of the cancer-related deaths are due to the metastasis, not due to the primary tumor. I think you need to come up with some fresh ideas. It would be really nice if you could grab those cancer cells and analyze them rather than looking at the primary tumor itself. This is a minimally invasive test. Just a simple blood draw and then you look for the cancer cells in that blood. The biggest challenge in doing this is that the cancer cells are very rare in the blood. So there may be maybe one to five cells per milliliter of the blood. That is like one cell against a billions of other cells. Using microfluidic technology, we could manipulate the sample on a substrate very specifically so we can put the cells where we exactly want so that we can capture the cells of our interest with high sensitivity and the rest of the blood cells go away. The chip is so small, this is like almost like a business card. So we apply an antibody on the substrate and then you pass the blood through this chip. The gold part you're seeing is the really the gold structures. There is a flower pattern gold on the surface. We only using a microscope you can see. Among billions of cells, maybe very four to five cells express the antibody that is we are targeting and they get captured on the surface immediately and then that of the day we have these you know maybe 10 cells on the chip and we can analyze them under the microscope or we can lyse these cells extract the nucleic acids and do some downstream genomic analysis it took almost two years for us to get this actually and then it started working across three different cancers, breast, prostate, and lung. We really believed that we have a technology that is much more sensitive than what it was there before by the use of these novel nanomaterials. We make these molds in a lurinanic fabrication facility, North Campus, engineering campus. So this is the mold which is made in the clean room and then we may pour the polymer here, baked inside an oven, take it out, cut the devices and then now we bond them to a, a glass slide. So this comes out really cheap that way and then we can make easily design changes patient specific so that you can tailor make your technology rather than just making a toy and just leave it in the lab. You want to take it all the way to the hospital. I see the potential of the circulating tumor cells in changing the way we are treating tumors, we are detecting tumors so it can make a huge difference. I think we should always dream big. <laughs> As they say, if you shoot for the stars, at least you will end up on the moon. So <laughs> we would love to do that if possible. The fungus produces enzymes that break down the biomass into its component sugars. And then the bacteria will eat those sugars and turn them into isobutanol.